Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Um, I'm going to take my glasses off. Oh my gosh, the glare was bad. Uh, this is a video for my friends and family. Uh, this week on my radio show, a friend of mine called three minutes before the end of the show. Uh, it wasn't very disruptive. I hung up the phone very quickly. The show ended on time. It was really great. It, but it made me realize that my friends and family do not take seriously my effort to inform them of the danger that we are in. Because the reason that I can't stop thinking about it is because it's serious. We are under siege by the nuclear industry. Uh, the levels of radiation are escalating. They are working night and day to convince people that radiation is not harmful. And frankly, if they harm enough humans, there are not going to be any humans in a hundred years. Read what Linus Pauling, read what Dr. Arthur Tamplin did. Those two men worked together on uh, a lot of many studies, scientific reports, which are publicly available. Not all of them are hidden. There is enough to find out. Go to Google Scholar, type in Google Scholar, and it'll pop up. And then look into the articles, scientific articles, and just type in Arthur Tamplin, nuclear birth defects. They, they did comprehensive studies, people. Their information, Doctor, let me show you this book that I'm reading on my YouTube channel. My friends and family, I guarantee you, are not listening to this. The people that are listening to this are the people from YouTube who understand the problem. I'm singing to the choir. But I'll be honest, I had to make a video for my friends and family tonight because when my friend called me the other day at the very end of my radio show, like if she would have waited five minutes, it would have been over. It made me realize that she had no concept that I was on the radio, which meant she's known since September. We're really good friends. It's on my website. She goes to my YouTube page, my, my Facebook page. She knows I have a YouTube channel, which obviously she never listens to because uh, every week it says 8 to 9 a.m. And that hit me like a ton of bricks, you guys. I can't tell you how much it hurt my feelings. Not just her. I have family living in San Diego who think it's really interesting. Let's go have fun. My brother who just got finished with cancer treatment is swimming in the Pacific Ocean. And when he gets cancer again in a year and a half, they're going to say, Oh my God, it recurred. I wonder why. Because he's exposing himself to radiation. And the low-level radiation harms us. That is a known fact. John Goffman wrote a whole, like a book, this fat. Like, seriously, it's one of the fattest books I bought by John Goffman. It's called Low Level Radiation, Extensive Look into Low the Negative Effects, or I don't know, some technical. He's a mega scientist. It's got graphs and studies and like, oh my God, it's like a mega science book. This is the thing here, folks. It's not a game. To my friends and family, this is not a game. I'm not wasting my time here. This is not like Lonnie's little pastime. This is about, we need to take this seriously. And if you think I'm not doing the right thing, okay, I get that. But do your own right thing. Every single person needs to do their own right thing. That, frankly, that's the message of Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's my take on the message of Jesus. That's my take on any religion that's ever been big on this planet is do the right thing. Conscience. We know with heart. We know when these two things, when all this stuff is in alignment, when we're not like all sexually perverted or all weirded out about stuff, life is great. And it's great for everyone else around us. And that's where we can go. There is no need for us to participate in this murder, death, kill cycle that we got going on. Whatever you want to believe or whoever or whatever it is that causes all this stuff, this is my take. They don't get the power of love. And frankly, I think they do. I mean, I don't disagree with David Icke on his premise that we are like little uh, uh, test tube things. 
Okay, but you know what? They can't copy love. We have something unique that nobody else does. Us mammals on this planet, we can actually really persevere. And the power of love is really strong. And it is important for us to act in love and do what we believe. And to my friends and family who think this is a game to me, it's not a game. I want each of you to figure out a way, not just... Be active in your own little like what you think is right. Like both my, my both my daughters are very active in their own uh, separate fields of interest, right? In my view, that's not enough. The nuclear industry. I mean, I don't know. I actually kind of agree with Dame Wigington. There's two things, and it's really hard to figure out which one is the most important. The chemtrails and the nuclear and for the same reason because they affect our air they affect our food supply it affects everything and frankly it is an outrage that our elected officials are just pretending that everything's fine just fine the EPA is going to let St. Louis be completely poisoned I mean it's an outrage folks I mean, that we are ignoring what's going on to the people in St. Louis as a community. We're outraged about a few hundred people in Paris right now. Oh, a terrorist attack. What has the nuclear industry done to St. Louis? You think that? How many more people in St. Louis have to die of cancer? How many stillbirths? How many children born with genetic defects? Like, honestly... It is an outrage that we are sitting silent while we know this is happening in St. Louis, our own country, our own people, and we're pissing and moaning about some people coming in. I guess pissing is a cuss word. I'm sorry about that. Coming into this country. I mean, the women, the children, the men, these poor pathetic people. Like, I personally don't want them here. We don't need more people. We need to stop funding ISIS. Let's just put it out there. Our government has acknowledged that our, oops, our plan didn't work. We were funding ISIS, but that was kind of a mistake, wasn't it? Oops. Where do you think? Look at the pictures of those guys. All those brand new boots they have on. You think that didn't come with our tax dollars? I mean, it is time for our government to apologize and say, you know what? We really didn't mean it intentionally, but we are going to correct this. And we are going to stop the subcontracting. And it has to end. The lying about nuclear has to end. We have to help the people of St. Louis. Whoever wants to be evacuated ought to be evacuated. I don't even care if it's 50 miles. I think anywhere near 50 miles of that nuclear dump site ought to be evacuated. Because we know a fire is headed its way. Now or maybe a year from now. We don't know how long. It is a freaking catastrophe that these people have just allowed to create. And it is like so beyond belief, you guys. What is it going to take for my friends and family? I mean, I'm one person. I know one person, Ed Oz. Ed Osworth, he's on Facebook. He's the only person I know who calls his senator, his congressman. He calls Kitty Piercy. He may, Kitty Piercy is our mayor. He's the only person I've motivated to actually get off his ass and do anything. And he does do it consistently. And he spends a lot of time on Facebook and posts things and posts articles and is actually pretty active. And you know what? Like, that's what we need. We need every single American to care about America and our planet and our entire planet Earth. It is completely wrong what's happening. And to my friends and family, I just want to tell you this. This is not a game for me. It's not like, oh, I'm learning how to juggle or I'm playing piano. It, this isn't a game. It, it is like serious. And for me, it will be an act of love for you. Those of you who listen to this video, who love me, who know me personally, to personally hear this message and get actively engaged in some way to stop the nuclear industry. We have the Columbia Generating Station with a leak that is being unaddressed. We could go after them with that, and we actually ought to. More than just two or three or four or five or six. And that was Chuck Johnson. It came back into my head thinking about the Columbia Generating Station. So, Chuck Johnson, I apologize for uh, mocking you. So, I won't do it again.
So, look, I'm going to end here. I see I'm almost at 10 minutes. But, um, you know what, you guys? Put your courage feet on. For those of you who listen to this, I hope it inspires you to get active because really, honestly, even if my friends and family won't do it, it matters if you do. Every single one of us matter. We are on not a long time frame. We have a short fuse here going on. And the nuclear liars have just, like, seriously lied. You cannot even imagine. I have documents that I'm going to start printing. I just figured out how to do it. I'm kind of new to this whole, like, electronic thing. So I just figured out how to keep a bunch of documents. And I'm going to print them. They're things that I found in my reports when, I was, when I'm in school. Um, I think I told you I'm a student. So... Put your courage feet on. And to my friends and family, I love you. And thank you for loving me. And this is not a game. And to my son-in-law specifically, eres de Peru. Entiendes todo. Yo pienso que sí. And it is really important for all of us to do what we can. Cultures disappear because people don't get active to stop the destruction. And that's where we're at. And I don't think it's too late. I refuse to believe it's too late. Fukushima is a freaking mess, yes. But will it kill the planet? I hope not. Is the Pacific Ocean really seriously in bad trouble? Yes. Exacerbated at least by Fukushima, if not caused by it. But at the very least, the global, I mean, the least you could say global warming exacerbated by Fukushima, if not the reverse. Or both consequentially. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to end here. I'm going to post this up. I'm going to be unselfconscious and not edit this. <laughs> and uh, to my friends and family, please take this seriously. I want you to take this seriously. What else do I have to do to get you to take it seriously? See why I took off the glasses? Because see, the light, that sucks. But at least I can see you now. <laughs> so, um... I guess this is a prayer. I guess I'm going to end this with a prayer. You know, like, I'm going to call on, like, the power of the universe, the power of love. Like, this is the love universe. Like, humans have the power of love. And it's for us to decide, do we love this planet? Helen Caldecott asked us that question. That was the name of a radio show that went off the air, sadly. Do you love, if you love this planet, I love this planet. I love everybody, you know. To be honest, if Dick Cheney is not really a clone, I could probably love him too. But I think he's probably a clone if you ask me. Anyways, uh, I'll end here, you guys. Put your courage feet on. Please take action. Please take action about St. Louis. Please call Claire McCaskill, Roy Blunt, Governor uh, Jay Nixon in uh, Missouri. These people need to be called and told, evacuate the people of St. Louis because that West, the Westlake dump site it eventually will hit that nuclear waste dump site. Those people need to be moved out before we have a catastrophic event. So, try you guys. Thanks for putting up with me, and I love you all. Thank you.